to a disaster every morning. Look at this. Townhome owners in this Northwest Charlotte community are fed up with this huge hole in their parking lot. It isn't getting fixed despite nearly two years of their complaints. Now it's left them with one question for their HOA. Where is the money to fix it? Investigative reporter David Hodges went digging for answers. His story is all new, live at 5. If I were to stand like right here, Am I standing in what would be your parking spot right now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm assuming you there cannot. There would be two parking spots. Two, par two parking spots. Yes. Yeah. And and y'all, there's no car here, so you can't use these. Townhome owners at the village at Mill Creek, like Cyril and Daisy Rosado, are fed up that this hole isn't being fixed. Have all of y'all been asking them to fix this yes. problem? Oh yeah. No, we've been living with this for two years and nothing has been done. Carolyn Green and other townhome owners provided WBTV with these work orders dating back to 2022 when the crater first started cracking open because of a water leak. And they keep dropping the ball and telling us that they don't have the money to fix the sinkholes, the craters. Records the residents have received show repair requests with vendors, but no permanent solution. The HOA is claiming they will need to take out a loan to afford the repairs, while residents' association dues have risen more than $50 per month over the past three years. Rates keep going up from the homeowners, but the services seem to be stagnant or disappearing. The residents have only been given these simplified budget and expense sheets, even though they have asked for a more detailed financial accounting of expenses from vendors and other ways their money is being spent. And they are like withholding the information. So I started digging deeper and what we found only raised more questions. HOAs often hire a management company to help run the community. The village at Mill Creek chose Cusick Management, a company where Alexandra Thompson worked until 2018. Court records show Thompson is currently facing charges for embezzling more than $90,000 from the company. The case is still pending. She worked for Cusick after pleading guilty to stealing money from another company she worked for in 2015. She's not the only employee with a financial crime conviction on her record. In 2013, Jeanette Parker pleaded guilty to three counts of HUD fraud in a federal case where prosecutors accused Parker of artificially inflating home prices to drive up deposits and profit. Parker is listed as the company's vice president. Emails obtained by WBTV show she was directly involved in the Mill Creek community up until 2017 when she was promoted. And that's just why we're here today. We're curious. We want to know where is the money going? Green and others have thought about withholding their dues until they get answers, but that could result in their own HOA foreclosing on them. Nobody should have to live like this when you're paying the HOA. Do any of y'all have faith that they will start fixing this problem if you weren't here speaking with us today? No, 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 because no. we've been waiting two years and we've been trying to take care of it ourselves and we just need your assistance in getting the word out of what they're doing and what they're not doing. Reporting in Charlotte, David Hodges, WBTV on your side. And WBTV reached out to Cusick Management. We did not receive a response from that company, but did get a statement from the Mill Creek Board of Directors. They stated the following, quote, owners are not entitled to review every record of the association. For example, owners have no right to review individual bank statements, invoices, or receipts. Adding, the repairs to Calpella Court are being pursued as quickly as association funds allow, and members tend not to support large increases in assessments, even when there are substantial repairs that need to be made. They go on to say the comments about Cusick personnel is unwarranted. The village at Mill Creek has received excellent, responsive, and highly ethical service from its management company.